And they that's live on the powerhouse of Irish houses. Houses. Everything. 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 I'm in the building industry. It's not a big time for a country to build a house in Massachusetts. Any other there are, well, we start out with more expensive money than in Nebraska, sure, but it's not five times more expensive to build a house. Then we wouldn't be losing the Congress. Well, yeah, we have a net, net we have a net population growth. Actually, that's not true. I've interviewed dozens of candidates this year on my show, and we, we have a we have a negative. We have either a net zero or negative population growth. In the past eight years, no new business in America has said, "I want to start my business in Massachusetts because of their great tax rate." No, no, no business that is in the job of looting. We have we have plenty of organic businesses locally. Well, where are those businesses? Where are then, if they're building the businesses, where are all these jobs? Yeah, but what, a, what about some of the back areas in Whitzer where I live? It's nothing but boarded up businesses and places closing down left and right. Where are the tax incentives there? Where are the, you know, where are the new jobs and the new businesses there? Unless well, you get a big federal grant. Unless we're talking about money that's coming out, set aside by the government to fund these organizations, like in the, the biotech corridor that they were opening up in Whitzer like these other issues. I mean, why are so many communities so interested in having casinos? Do you think somebody said, geez, I think the best possible job my son can ever have is working as a groupie agent. I don't know how to do it. So is Carol. We have them from the very beginning. Which goes to what I always say, which is that there's probably a lot of things we agree upon so we can get past the shouting part. Well, let me tell you, the whole idea of Massachusetts is open. The state and local tax rate in Massachusetts is lower than that. I, 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 I'm familiar with Noah Burris, but I'm familiar with the But unfortunately, it's not objective. Now, okay, for poor people in Massachusetts, because we have a significant. Well, I had it in my nuts, my nut bowl. Well, it's all well and good for large businesses and the biotech corridors to come in and do what they're doing. These are large corporations. What I'm talking about is the back streets, the back roads where the small Joe businesses are, that they they can't compete because they're, they're taxed and looted the same way the corporations are. Corporations will always be able to afford this. In fact, they're the ones that actually design the whole system. What, talk, what we're trying to talk about here is regulatory taxes, where, where the, the big businesses are in, at a strategic advantage to small businesses. And that's the reason why, you know, mom and pop stores go out of business and people aren't able to get on that road. That's Carol Dykema right there. Jamie Eldridge over there, the tall guy. I'm in this parade. I still have the button. I should have worn my Jackie Coffin t shirt. <laughs> Why not, you know? I'm raising the minimum wage. We're going to disagree on regulating mandating pay days off. Wow. Our kids on a three week vacation. Empirically, historically, we have a theory of telling you that will, but in fact, 
Yeah, but it's not government's place to, to regulate pay what, in what? small businesses or in any business. Are, yeah, no, it's I, not. Yeah, it's, I, I, point, point to the clause in the Constitution that says that. Point to the clause in the state constitution. That's not what that says. That's not what that well, says. Gonna, says promote the general not welfare, not provide for the general welfare. The Confederate view of the Constitution. They, when they rewrote the Constitution, they actually took the U.S. Constitution. They took the U.S. Constitution and said, and, and they had I, I think you're, I think you're diverging from the subject here. There's, there's had, nothing in the Constitution they, they, they about the providing minimum that wages. Was enumerated duties only, right? And that's what you guys are coming back to because you don't like the modern mixed economy. But what you don't realize is you're going to beggar your children, and you've seen it already since you're regular. Yeah. yeah. Uh, look. Empirical, empirical data points are interesting to me. But really, our core disagreement is whether we believe in limited government or unlimited government. We are in favor of limited government. Unfortunately, you're not. You're the leader. You're, you're the in favor of the tax rate. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, cash trading government. Okay, good. Government should be castrated. Absolutely. Government is instituted by men. Government doesn't institute over men. Yeah. <laughs> and if we That's had right. we are. If we so had these the angels who could rule us better, yes, that would be perfect. But sadly, we don't. We have to have weak individuals who them in one way or the other. Probably. Oh, probably. Oh, okay. I, 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 you can handle it. <laughs> How are you doing today? Camera, you're pretty girl. Come uh, on. Can I see the sign? Hi, Matt O'Brien. I got to ask you this question. Why would you ask you number one in public education by far? But you want to change the common sense? Watch that right down the toilet. Yeah, we covered it. <laughs> My show is complete. Wrong. It isn't. Common Core came out of the, the Governor's Association. Common Core is not even the Common Core came out of Bill Gates. Well, the testing aspect of Common Core, I think, we've I mean, gone way too crazy. But if you look at the Common Core, do you think it's a curriculum? It is a curriculum. It is not a curriculum. It's a curriculum standard. It says what kids should know at certain levels. You've certainly seen the same circulating on the internet. We've got to kill a common core because it's just a bad math problem. Well, that bad math problem is not in common core. Right? Why is so many states leaving this? What is it left now? 41? Because they're being buffaloed by people who are willing. So, 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 the oyster lining up. Yeah. Okay. All right. For the hey, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Nice to meet you. I thought you were mad. <laughs> there you go. That was very interesting. <laughs>